how to resize an image on GIMP with aspect ratio. So basically what we're going to be doing today is getting an image and then we just want to resize it to a specific aspect ratio that we actually need. Maybe we want this for a banner, a profile picture. It does not really matter whichever type of uh, aspect ratio that you want, but we can actually go ahead and do so with any image. So first you will need to go ahead and open up a GIMP. Um, and then from here, what we are going to be doing is adding an image file to work on. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a random image that I have. And we are just going to be working on this one. Okay, so I have just added this uh, fully red image. I'm just going to zoom out. If you don't know how to do that, you can just go ahead and hold control. And with the mouse wheel, you can just go ahead and zoom out. Or you can just go ahead to the bottom and actually change the zoom level now it's better to be zoomed out just because we want to select the area that we want to include in the new aspect ratio so how do we actually go ahead and achieve this whole aspect ratio thing well if you're on the brush or whatever it may be you actually want to switch to the crop to go to the crop options you want to either just go ahead and go to the top left here where you will find the crop uh, option and you can just go ahead and click on that and now you have the crop option turned on uh, if not for example if you don't actually see this you can adjust it from the views and you can end up seeing this toolbar but if not you can just go ahead and hold shift and c so let's just go to brush here shift and c and you can see now we are in the crop option now what we need to do is from this uh, or for these settings that we have in the crop area we want to go to this aspect ratio fixed uh, and we want to go ahead and make sure we turn this on so we can actually go ahead and lock in a specific aspect ratio. So just go ahead and check this box right here. And then you can just go ahead and change this to the aspect ratio you want. So whether it's going to be a profile picture aspect ratio, a banner, uh, whatever it may be that you actually want, you will need to just go ahead and enter it right here. We can just go to 16 by 9, which is the uh, usual banner size here. Uh, and once we do that, we can just go ahead and hit enter just in case. And next, once we have this done, we have the fixed aspect ratio turned on. And we also have the 16 by 9 here or whichever type of... Um, aspect ratio that you want we can just go ahead and go to the image and drag along the rectangle or square that you want and now it's actually going to show you how much you can actually drag so let's say this image was actually bigger uh, you won't be able to drag further than that or you can even just go ahead and make it smaller like so it's going to maintain the 16 by 9 ratio so we can just go ahead and maximize this or we can just go ahead and make it smaller it's completely up to you you can just go ahead and drag a shape and it's going to be proper it's always going to be 16 by 9 if you have a difference it's going to be uh, that aspect ratio as well so now that we have this we can just go ahead and hit enter and you can see now the area that was around this is no longer longer available and we can just simply export this image and it should be with that, within that um, aspect ratio range that we have selected. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.